Oh boy. What's about to go down? Camping with friends. That's right. All right, guys. Well, we're walking to camp. We're loaded down. That's how we're doing it. All right, guys. Well, we are at Tickville. And we are going to get set up. The boys are all going to start grabbing wood. And uh, I'm going to start getting camp ready to go. So we can chillax the rest of the evening. Let's do it. So I've got the kids making a keyhole fire pit so we can cook in it. They're digging through the sand and the dirt. Don't do it right now. I know. It's good for them. Yeah, be a dog. Doggy. This is how deep we need it. Right there. Right wow. There. Wow. Those boys are having fun. It's good to hear that. So we're going to let the fire pit burn down. And then once we get a nice little coal bed in there, we're going to get our burgers and our brats put on it. Thing. boys are up and about messing around camp good morning so the boys brought two of their friends from the neighborhood with them that they're they're all allowed to play with each other um, so they've never really been tent, tent style camping so we brought them kind of really focused on just hanging out with them and making sure they're safe around the fire and all that good stuff and you know what they've just been playing they've been running around the camp and having a great time so I'm actually out uh, I use the restroom I'm doing a morning walk through the woods because it's beautiful absolutely beautiful and uh, we're gonna cook some bacon on a stove that I'm checking out you know because that's what we do but really we're just gonna enjoy the woods and get out of it what we can because it is actually supposed to rain today it was supposed to rain pretty bad last night and it just sprinkled on us so that's why we're in you know kind of our our lockdown setups. I have my my hammock tarp, and I had that in storm mode last night. And the boys are uh, all four of them were in two two person uh, tents, um, and I had them all locked down nice and tight, also so that it would stay nice and dry in case it would rain. But it just sprinkled, and that was really it. So I'm out here just taking a little walk and walking along this cool game trail. Now the cool thing is, is where I was just out at Tickville, is actually close to the other spot that the boys and I went to uh, previously when we were out here. You're about to see that. You can hear those kids hollering. Here's our other camp spot that we had. Still standing, looks good. So. I love this spot here just for its openness, but yet it's completely closed off by everything. So I think this will be a really great, uh, like really great winter camping spot. Put the hot tent right here in the middle. Super secluded. I really, really like it here. So anyway, also while I'm out here walking around and, and looking at things, uh, I'm also keeping my eye out for uh, some mushrooms. Uh, it is morel season-ish right now. And it's a nice, damp, cool morning. So if I see some, I'm going to get some. You guys will walk through of our camp here. We were set up. Warm it. Two person from Walmart there. I'm using my uh, Grand Trunk Skeeter Beater. There's Keegan. I'm just taking advantage of getting hugs right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I can smell. Can you smell rain? The rain coming. And you can feel it coming. So. We're going to start getting the campsite picked up and then we're going to do our bacon 
on the stove. Either we'll do it here or we'll do it down once we get out of the woods, but I would like to try to get camp cleaned up and spend a little bit more time looking for mushrooms. Uh, I spent some time going over with the boys on what they're looking for and kind of the area that they need to look for them. So, dead trees. See if they find anything. Look at them look. <laughs> All right, so as you can tell, we have a stick going across the top of the tent because for some reason we forgot. Oh, there's an ant. For some reason, we forgot this uh, pole. But it's all right. We made do. And it worked out pretty good. I mean, it held up the tent yeah. just fine. Did you guys sleep all right in it? Yeah. yeah. I went yeah. right to sleep. I went right to sleep. I had no problem with it. You never stay up anyway. <laughs> Liar. You better stop with all them muscles. <laughs> We're going to get ready to go out of here. We're going to actually cook up some food on our stove over when we get to the car. Just because we don't want to be trudging through the fields when it's raining so we get over there we can hang out we can make some food i brought the arctic cooler it's kept our, our stuff super cold the good thing is is you know a day later everything is still nice and ice cold so worth it is it heavy it is i think we might get a smaller one if we're going to do like a one or two person camp but for five people that worked out perfect all right with your conspiracy theories let's roll out Come on. Transformers, roll out! I know, Autobots, roll out! out. <laughs> there we go! I'll tell you one thing, taking two boys camping is something. Taking four boys camping is an adventure. <laughs> but it's a good adventure. This is what I was concerned about walking through once it rained. I didn't want these guys to get completely covered in mud. It would have made for kind of a crappy experience, I think. <laughs> you dropped the fruit container. Yes, we glamped and brought fruit. So the boys were over there looking at some ammo, some cartridges that were just on the ground they found and Dorian found a unfired 223 round. So that was pretty cool. So it's going to be a little bit windy and I apologize about that, but there is a storm coming in and that's why we decided to leave camp to come over here just because, you know, we had quite a walk ahead of us. So this is the fire maple. Let me show it to you here. It's pretty cool looking. It's called the fire maple fixed star times two or the fixed R2. I got some sand in it because we were over there at the river. But that was an easy fix. Like this little netted bag. So this thing's pretty cool. It has this little lever up here. Can you unhook it? It just really kind of helps hold the whole thing together. I'm pretty sure if I had the lid turned the other way and I did this, really got nice, nice retention. But I was really interested in trying one of these stoves out. I do have um, a jet boil and it's a good stove. It does, not without its idiosyncrasies, like anything. So I was really interested in to see something like this. And right off the bat, I was really impressed with not just the way that it looks because it's green and it's cool, but like this handle, the way it locks down, it's pretty solid. And also I really like the fact that the pot holder actually came with the kit. Um, so I want to make bacon. So I'm going to use this pot, pot stand. Let's just get it going. We'll take a look at it. Here's the burner. I'm curious as to uh, how this regulator is going to work out in the windy conditions. Windy conditions are kind of a perfect setting for this. And it actually has a really cool little um, gas stand too for the little gas canister. So let's put it together and we'll check it out.
to open up these, almost like a trivet, I'll call it. And they lock in to these little tabs here. At least I'm thinking they do. Well, if you put them right there on there, it makes it a nice solid stand. So, rock out some applewood smoked bacon. bacon crispy this regulator is pretty decent I can really turn the stove down and focus and I know that whenever you're using a pot like this or a pan uh, keep in mind that the center is your hot pot part right this is your hot hot part here and then you've got kind of your medium and then you've got your low on the outside so some people have asked me before you know whenever you're cooking on a, on a skillet and you're cooking something like that how do you know you know you have hot spots in it. You know, I have a hot spot in the middle and it gets cooler as we run out. So whenever you're looking in your pan, always know that's your hot spot. Moving out, it gets cooler. So if you're using a really big pan, you can cook your food in the center and kind of stash it along the outside. So for those of you who are going to be curious about what skillet I'm using, I'm using the uh, Keith Titanium Ceramic Coated uh, Skillet. It's a good skillet. I mean, obviously I'm frying my bacon up in it pretty good. Now, one thing that you always have to keep in mind is our family, you know, we like our, our bacon, or I should say Keegan and I like our bacon really crispy. So usually in order to get crispy bacon, Sometimes the skillet really kind of goes through the ringer. And the skillet keeps coming out and, you know, improving itself. So I think it's been a pretty good purchase. I should use this for every day. All right, so I put one liter of water in here, and we're going to give it a shot here. Alright, so we're going to check something out here. Let me turn the stove off. This is, we're going to see how it, how it, oh, it came off really easy. Alright guys, give me your cups. Good job, Keegan. I'm soaking up. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, I got it. 
So we have to get one more. I think that's everybody. <laughs> People wearing blue. Yeah. Not blue. wearing blue. I don't have to. <laughs> Purple and blue. No, I don't have my socks on. So the kids are heading over to the tree line now to go play uh, hide and go seek. I just kind of look at this. This one liter pot is pretty awesome. So I'm going to store it and I'm going to show you one way that it gets stored versus the way it was when I got it because it was uh, obviously new when I opened it up. So when you're storing this away, it's cleaned. Once it's cleaned, take your pot or your uh, canister stain and put it in the base. And this will fork over your canister stand in the bottom. But before you do that, take your fuel canister and it'll snap in here around these tabs. Check this out. And what that'll do is that'll protect your piezo igniter. So that way when you're moving around and you, you have a bunch of stuff on the inside, you're not going to bend it down or bend it up out of the way or you know potentially break off your little igniter in there. So this is a good way to protect it and also a nice handy way to carry your fuel. So once that's done, like I said, this will fork around, around the stand. Let me show you with it out so you get, kind of get the gist of it. See how the stand's sitting in there? It just sits perfectly right around the uh, the actual regulator also and your little fuel stem. So that also is another good way to protect that. So get that back in there again. So then once you get your your canister in there you can take your little pot stand now i showed you guys how you have this, this little pot how it wings out and it wings in like this so you take this bad boy and you turn it upside down you stick it right on top of the canister like that then take your lid there's a small button right here you just push that in that's such a, a nice solid lock. Look at this. I love that. Bring it up. And then you pull your little tab up here. And that's it. This is super, super solid. Um, definitely a three person kit. Or today, five. Um, it would be five people with weight. You know, you have to. For drinks, um, cooking is kind of unlimited as long as you have as many canisters as you want. Uh, if I was to do a breakdown on this, I would say this would be solid for two to three people for sure. At least two days worth of, of cooking. So, as you can see behind me, the clouds are coming up. They're getting uh, ready to come in and dump on us uh it's supposed to be raining now that's why we were headed this way just so we could still get time to hang out get time to check out this cool stove from fire maple and uh not get drenched so guys i thank you so much for coming along uh the kids are off there playing hide and go seek and i kind of want to go check out and play with them and see what they're doing so <laughs> um as always, thank you so much for coming along. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you see that bell notification, do us a favor, hit it. That'll let you know when we have any new videos coming up. We'll see you guys real soon. Bye-bye.